afternoon. My name is Mara Cronenfeld, and I'm the Executive Director of UNRWA USA. Thank you. For the past 20 years, our nonprofit has proudly supported the work of UNRWA through advocacy, education, and fundraising efforts here in the U.S. As the U.S. government continues to withhold funding for Palestine refugees, those in Gaza are facing daily bombardment, catastrophic food insecurity, a health care system in ruins, and near total population displacement. Sadly, UNRWA USA has become the only way for Americans to support, to support the only UN agency with the operational and technical know-how to ease the plight of mass civilian suffering in Gaza. The good news is that over the past year, the American people have stepped up and answered the challenge while the US government, our government has sadly stepped aside. From October to December, 2023, UNRWA USA saw our grassroots donor base grow from about 7,000 people to what? To 76,000 people in three months. Our supporters, the American people, have generated more than $50 million in funds for UNRWA, providing critical humanitarian assistance to millions of Palestine refugees across the Gaza Strip, first and foremost, but also, as my colleagues have said, in the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, Syria, Lebanon, and uh, Jordan as well. These donors, they come from every state in the country, and they come from incredibly diverse ethnic and religious backgrounds. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Their support, their support sends a loud and clear message that the American people believe in the necessity of UNRWA's indispensable work. The U.S.'s government, their decision to withhold humanitarian funding is clearly disconnected from the will of the American people. Yet while the generosity of the American people is remarkable, I cannot, it cannot replace the U.S. government's financial support to UNRWA. The U.S. has historically been the largest donor to the U.N. agency, providing somewhere between a fourth and a third of the whole budget. In 2023 alone, the U.S. contributed $400 million. Clearly, without the United States, UNRWA cannot effectively carry out its life-saving humanitarian mandate. Actually, the U.S. remains, as my colleagues have said, an outlier among 16 nations who pause funding and resume funding. The U.S. is the only country to not come back in. And this is amidst the horror that is being wrought on Gaza. It is a moral and a strategic failure that the U.S. turns its back on millions of displaced families in a period of unprecedented need. That's why we are endorsing the UNRWA Restoration, Emergency Restoration Act to ensure that our fellow human beings can survive the greatest humanitarian crisis of the modern era. We are so grateful to the offices of the representatives Jayapal, Carson, and Schakowsky for leading this effort. This partnership is a demonstration of the wide congressional support that exists for UNRWA and the acknowledgement of its irreplaceable role, not just in Gaza, but across the Middle East. In restoring funding for Palestine refugees, this UNRWA support bill honors the most basic and inalienable truth that the people of Palestine, yes, are human beings, just like you and just like me, and that all lives are sacred, not just some. We cannot stand by why Palestinian people suffer. This is America's moment to do what is right and to save lives. It is imperative that our government, the United States of America, upholds its commitment to fundamental human rights and restores funding to UNRWA immediately. Thank you.